Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are going to have a little fun and take a look at five of the most wanted features we'll probably never see. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So Animal Crossing New Horizons has been out for seven months now, which is absolutely crazy. The time has literally flown by, especially when consider just how long it felt like we were all waiting for the game to release. Of course, New Horizons is an extremely popular game too, currently sitting at the number two spot for the best selling Nintendo Switch game of all time, and will likely take the top spot sometime before its one year anniversary. Now this is great because every week more and more players pick up the game creating an incredible community of players many of who are only now experiencing an Animal Crossing game for the very first time. With this in mind Nintendo have suggested that Animal Crossing New Horizons will likely see continuous updates for several years. My guess is not only to add some classic features back into the game for those nostalgic players but also new mechanics and in-game events to attract even more newcomers to the series all good news for people playing the game. So far Nintendo have been pretty consistent with updates, regularly adding new features with larger seasonal updates, adding things like swimming and diving during the summer and of course the new farming mechanic being the most recent and many others expected in the future. Of course with that said there are some very ambitious features that the community would love to see added to New Horizons in future updates that we'll probably never see. So please leave a like on the video, it helps out so much, and let's take a look at five of the most desirable features the community has thought up that we'll probably never see. Number one, resident services. One of the busiest locations on any island, whether you've only just pitched your tent or you've already paid off your entire debt to Tom Nook, is the Resident Services Center at the Plaza. This is the hub of all the main operations on your New Horizons island, features the town hall and of course hosts all these special characters who stop by to try and sell you something. It's a fun place but one of the things the game doesn't tell you before it's too late is that it can't be moved or relocated like any of the other buildings around the island. This has led the community surrounding New Horizons hoping that one day in a future update Tom Nook will give us a resident services tent so we can pitch the plaza in a new location. Unfortunately as awesome as it would be it's highly unlikely we'll ever be able to adjust the position of our resident services center. Number 2 Custom Fences one of the most desirable features that finally made its way into New Horizons for the first time in the Animal Crossing universe is of course the fence mechanic and the ability to place a variety of different fence panels pretty much anywhere around our islands. This was a huge step forward in terms of customization, allowing us to create gardens and pathways, design separate areas and even line cliff tops with fences to keep everyone safe. Anyway, New Horizons currently has around 20 different types of fencing, but the amazing creativity of the community has left us wanting more. As far back as the original trailer, different types of fences have been spotted that were either removed from the game or redesigned before the release, and seeing these different fence types sparked the want for a fence customization option to be added to New Horizons. After all, Sable gives us hundreds of free design patterns, we can create our own patterns, and we can even customize almost everything in the game. So adding fences to this list has become one of the most wanted features from the community. Can you imagine this simple wooden fence customized to match the Kitty series? How cool would that be? Despite the desire for such a cool feature like custom fences, it's highly unlikely this is something that would ever make it into an update, simply because I feel like if it was going to be something, it would already exist. However, all is not lost as Nintendo seemed to include at least one new fence with every seasonal update, with the latest being this spooky fence added in the Halloween update, so no doubt even more will be added in the future. Number 3 Island Expansion Hey guys, Crossing Channel here. Now one of the most asked for features by fans in Animal Crossing New Horizons is probably the ability to expand your island size. And although this would be incredibly cool and give you a lot more to work with, this is something that is pretty unlikely to happen. Animal Crossing has always been a game about limitations. They don't want players doing too much at once, hence why a lot of things are locked behind the real time clock. But this is also true for features and how much you can customize your island. It's very likely that Animal Crossing's developers feel it would be far too overwhelming to expand your island size and have to figure out what to do with all of that extra space. 
Now, for many of us, I'm sure we would be dying to have some more room to focus on all of our crazy ideas, but Nintendo tends to gear their games more towards casual players, and although an expansion would be great for us, they may see it as too overwhelming for that particular demographic. Of course, an expansion should be optional either way, but it still seems pretty unlikely that they'll ever give us the tools to actually do this in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Still, if they do, I'm going to make a whole portion of my island as a Bob Shrine, so please let me know if they actually put this in the game. Number 4. Pocket Camp Items now, one of the most successful spin-offs of Animal Crossing is of course Animal Crossing Pocket Camp that was released three years ago next week, I believe, and is still going strong today with a huge audience playing daily. During these last couple of years, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp has seen a massive library of items including amenities that villagers interact with, gorgeous furniture items that sometimes you never thought you'd see in an Animal Crossing game, and even new items the game has introduced to the series such as wearable backpacks, holdable books, and other awesome accessories. Now, given a smaller portable version of Animal Crossing like this was released before New Horizons, this created a certain expectation for New Horizons for the kind of items and furniture series we could see added into the game. And naturally, the community hopes that with each new update we see, some of these larger interactive items could be added. Now, luckily, New Horizons does include some of these things, such as wearable backpacks and now the spooky bat wings added in the previous update. And we've even seen some spooky items that closely resemble those in Pocket Camp. But given the nature of the two games and how different they are in terms of gameplay and playstyle, it's extremely unlikely we'll ever see the larger, more intricate and interactive furniture items you get in Pocket Camp over here in New Horizons. I'd love to say we could see them one day, but really, they just wouldn't suit New Horizons. So it's doubtful. Number 5. More Villagers Now, one of the most important parts of any Animal Crossing game is of course the adorable villagers we live with. These animals are the life and soul of any Animal Crossing town or island and pretty much makes the Animal Crossing experience what it is. Since New Leaf on the 3DS and now New Horizons on the Switch, we can have a maximum of 10 villagers living with us at any one time. However, back in the original Animal Crossing, you could have a total of 15 different villagers all living in your town at the same time. Not only did this give us much more interaction with other characters, but added more depth to the townsfolk, with more unique conversations, more work opportunities, more rewards, and basically just more things to do. Although not for everyone, a popular hope for New Horizons is to see an increase in the maximum amount of villagers that can live on our islands, and at the very least match the quantity from population growing. Personally, I would love to see an optional extra of 5 more houses to bring the total up to 15. However, given the limited island size mentioned by Ben from Crossing Channel earlier, some players are already lacking space for something like this. So for that reason, it's highly unlikely we'll ever be able to invite more than the 10 villager limit New Horizons currently has. But what do you think about these most wanted features? Are we right in assuming they'll probably never come to New Horizons, or can you see an island expansion DLC becoming available in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. And of course, be sure to jump over to Crossing Channel's channel and check out tons of new Animal Crossing content that I know you will love. If you do head over there, be sure to comment Maury in his latest video. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment villagers just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include what kind of custom fences you would use if you could. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.